Well, I'm so glad we could get this little date in. I'm literally covered in dirt. This is massive, it's as tall as you. You grow your own food now. friends welcome back to my channel for a monday tuesday vlog i'm feeling very monday-ish in the sense of like this is a new week let's make this a great week i want to get set up feeling good like a healthy productive day i've been sticking with my wake up early and get a few hours of computer work done before starting the vlog and that just like feels so good to me and i'm excited for today i'm actually working with agency skincare on today's video so tonight i'm going to show you an updated skincare routine but today during the day there's a few things i've been procrastinating that i want to just finally get done like all the plants on my patio died when i was in hawaii and i need to find a way to dispose of the bodies um i also want <laughs> To go get some film developed and i've been trying to be less intimidated in terms of my health so like i want to go try the weighted machines at the gym because i have a goal of like putting on muscle putting on healthy weight not just doing like cardio type stuff so i think that that could be good and healthy for my joints as well something else kind of interesting i am on a spending challenge this week i was hosting people from out of town and doing all sorts of things and i feel like i was just like out a lot so i have a challenge this week for monday through friday not including medical expenses or gas for my car i only have 50 dollars to spend this week tonight i have a birthday party it's just drinks so i figured a mocktail will be less than ten dollars um, and then i'm going to bernie tomorrow we're going to go hang out with mom and dad and i typically just cook with them so i won't be spending any money there so 50 dollars budget this week for all non-medical or gasoline needs and i think that that will be really fun like maybe we can make a smoothie together here at home and just you know do all that sort of stuff lately i've kind of craved the days where i just wear athletic clothes i don't know why i think it's because i'm so much more comfortable and i don't have to think through outfits <laughs> but the plan for this morning i think my order of events will be take max on a little stroll and then head to the film lab they're opening literally one minute ago they opened um so be first in line to drop those off go to the gym do a little weighted exercise pick up some meds and then i have a dentist appointment today and i I'm going to be getting my teeth whitened there as well. Um, I have had something weird happen to my enamel, so I wanna have a real dentist look at it um, and then also see if we can fix it by whitening. It doesn't show up as well on camera for some reason. I don't know why, but yeah, it's not showing up at all, but it's a lot more obvious in real life. I think my enamel is wearing off in strips, so there's like, there's like, vertical lines of discoloration on this tooth, so I'm excited to get that looked at and see if professional whitening is a good idea or not. And then we'll take the day from there. Gonna head out, take this little fluff ball. You don't even know you get to go to Bernie tomorrow and play with May and run around a real yard. You're gonna have so much fun tomorrow. Just realized I should probably eat before leaving. Um, but funny story, okay, I mentioned in the last vlog I made Cinnabon copycat cinnamon roll recipes. Um, and I just ordered groceries online and I don't know how I accidentally chose this tofu alternative cream cheese. And I was like, for cinnamon rolls, I'm not gonna risk that, but I also don't wanna waste that. So I went and I got normal cream cheese for the cinnamon rolls, but then I got gluten-free bagels to try this tofu cream cheese. I kinda wanna try one bite plain, but then I'm gonna make it really good with avocado and seasoning and stuff, but just kinda curious. So I figured we could do a little taste test. I don't think I like it. <laughs> but I'm gonna try it with avocado and spices and stuff. I feel like it'd go best with jelly or jam, but I don't have any. So I'm gonna do one with just honey, but this is avocado and this weird Nordic foragers blend seasoning that was like a dollar at Whole Foods. Oh, way better. Just gotta hide it with a lot of other tastes. <laughs> excited to see these film these films this film these film developed because both of these roles are just like normal life and normally it's trip pictures which are also so much fun but this is like cooking at home and just like living normal life and I, I can't wait to see them I think they're gonna be good memories to like show kids one day of this is what life looked like when I was living in Austin at 25 so let's go get them developed I realized I left my earbuds at home 
and you can't go to the gym without your buds. Um, you can take a class, which is what I normally do, but can't can't do weight stuff. So I think what I'm gonna do is figure out how to dispose of these plants because all we have is a trash chute. So what I'm thinking, in my defense, I tried really hard with these. The week I was gone in Hawaii, it got up to like 108 every day, and <laughs> it's so sad. So I'm thinking I uproot them and put them in a trash bag and put them in my little cart and see if I can fit them down the trash chute. I think that they're, they're not very big, so I think it should hopefully work. I'm literally covered in dirt, but we got a fresh start. They're all gone. Maybe after my next trip when I'm home, I can replace them. Or maybe I should wait until it's not so hot so that they have a better chance of surviving. <laughs> One fun thing about coming home unexpected is uh, I already got some of the photos. I'll show you a few. Like I said, there's 80, but I'm gonna try a different film because half of them, if it's not super bright light, they just don't develop. So I'm still like learning and playing around, but I've been told I need a faster speed film, like 400 speed. So I'm gonna try that next, but you know, me working, eating guac, skate date, me on the roof, learning how to skateboard with Jordy. And safety first, got my wrist guards because I don't know how to skate yet. And I didn't fall, surprisingly, that whole night. Our skateboards together and our feet. Welcome, free feet pick on life. <laughs> Max and sushi, oh, I love that one. Uh, brunch. On South Congress, we vlogged that day, so you can go and see that. Next, being a little sleepy boy. Those are some of the good ones, but there's 80 something, so there's a little taste. But now I'm gonna get my actual earphones and then go try to build a little bit of muscle. My joints have been especially bad lately. I think that I've mentioned EDS runs in my family. We dislocate all the time. I think this is accurate because doctors have pretty much told me like the only real thing you can do right now is try to build muscle to hold your joints in place. So I need to be better about that. I'm trying to be more intentional about being kind to my body. I'm gonna learn how to build a little bit of muscle and do the scary weighted stuff at the gym where all the guys hang out and it's intimidating to walk over, but maybe at 12.30 on a weekday, it won't be so bad. en route to my dentist appointment. I took a little picture with like this as a comparison because this is the same shade of cream with my teeth and we will see if my teeth look any different afterward to see if this is something actually worth doing and spending money on or if it's a scam because to be honest I don't really know I've never really gotten my teeth professionally whitened before so could very very well work or could very well not. I will be guinea pig. I'll be guinea pig on our behalf and let y'all know. Okay, I'm leaving the office. I actually haven't really seen them yet. Um, apparently, they continue to whiten for the next 48 hours, but... Oh, wait. Wait, I think that that... I think that is whiter. I'm excited to see how they continue to change over the next 48 hours. You're not supposed to eat so many things, like even soy sauce and red meat, because it can stain your teeth, because apparently the pores open up, and then, like, colored foods can get in them, which is, which is wild. Who knew? Um, sensitivity wasn't terrible. It wasn't pleasant, but I have very sensitive teeth, so I was kind of preparing for real pain, and it just like was uncomfortable, but it wasn't terrible. So that was fun to try. Okay, I'm looking at the pictures. I just took one. The difference is so much more noticeable in the pictures than I thought. Here's before, after, before, after. Who would have guessed? <laughs> that was a fun experiment. Thank you for experimenting with me. Oh my goodness, it's getting close to midnight. Um, my plan was to go from like 8 to 8.30 and then come home and do skincare with y'all, finish writing a script for a video tomorrow, wake up early, film a video, vlog, pack, and leave for Bernie by noon. Oh, and get coffee with Jinsey at 8.30. But I don't think I'm gonna be able to do all that. So I'm trying to reschedule coffee and we'll just, we'll just see how I manage a busy filming morning. But the thing that I never skip 
is nighttime skincare, even when I'm like super tired and uh, just want nothing more than go to straight to sleep. So we're gonna do my skincare together. As I mentioned, I am working with Agency on this video. Do y'all remember when I first introduced Agency skincare? It was in the Pasadena house. I actually wonder if I can even find old video clips of that, but um, I have been using this for quite a while now. This is a custom skincare brand, as you can see, my name is on it. I'll tell you more about it and how it works, but first I do wanna say that they have reactivated a link for me and I'm gonna have it in the description down below. And with this link, you can try your first month of agency skincare for free. All you pay is $4.95 shipping and handling. And that's what I did when I was first curious about it. Basically you go onto their website and you take the skin quiz and you have a dermatology provider that kind of guides you through what your goals are, what your needs are. They send you the custom formula and I did that for the free trial first month where I just paid shipping and handling to see if I liked it and how my skin adjusted before I was like, yes, I love this and I committed. And I've been using this every night for two years now. Um, I use the Future Formula. The first thing I do is I remove my makeup and I actually use just jojoba oil to remove my makeup because it's way cheaper than makeup wipes and better for everyone, better for the environment, better for you. So I wet my face. I just use this to kind of melt away my eye makeup before I then wash my skin properly. And then I quickly cleanse my skin and just make sure to go to, it's almost a double cleanse in a sense because the first is oil, but mostly just around my eye makeup. And then the second is just a jelly cleanser. Then I'll normally use a toner and a cotton pad just because I'm always shocked at how much makeup is left over. I don't love this one, um, but I'm just trying not to be wasteful and use it. And this is always shocking to me. Are you ready for this? Look at that. See all that makeup that I didn't get from basically double cleansing? So this is now the step that I use my future formula. I usually use it before my moisturizer at night. They have two different primary focuses of formula. They have a dark spot formula, if that's more of your focus, or they have the future formula. This has several different focuses, so it helps reduce the appearance of fine lines. Something that I really care about is helps reduce the appearance of pores as well. I typically struggle with um, pretty noticeable pores on my nose, but ever since using this, I'll see if I can give you a little close up, I've noticed a huge improvement in those pores not being as visible and noticeable. It also boosts firmness and helps improve any discoloration. And it's just super easy. I just take a little pump like this and apply it very similar to a moisturizer all over my skin. And something that I love too is that you have access to your dermatology provider on your phone, on the computer, and you can message them. They'll check in on you every couple of months too. And typically when they check in on me, I'm like, yeah, it's going great. My skin seems to be reacting to it well. And then they can even increase the dosage and make it a little more potent, which I think is really awesome as well. Because it truly is just like customized to your needs. After that, I basically just follow up with a moisturizer. If my skin is feeling drier, sometimes I'll add a little of marula oil into my moisturizer and make a little smoothie for the skin. A little bit of eye cream. And then I put on like a lip sleeping mask before I go to bed. And that is my skincare routine. You know, my nice teeth brushing and all that kind of stuff, but that's not skincare, that's bedtime. I'm going to go to bed and I'll see you in the morning for a hustle work morning for me, but then hopefully a very fun, relaxing family. It'll be mother-daughter day tomorrow. My dad's not in town quite yet, but a little, a little at-home day with mom tomorrow. Good morning. I'm so glad I didn't try to do coffee and everything this morning. I, whenever I cancel plans on people, I feel terrible, but I have to remember that whenever people cancel plans on me, I'm kind of like, ooh, New free time. I'm sure not everyone feels the same way, but I need to remember that it's probably not as big of a deal to other people if I have to reschedule for them. But um, I'm just getting ready to film a sit down video that I kind of only, I only write bullet points of what I want to say. And I only kind of halfway wrote this one, but I was gonna film it in Bernie and I would rather just be present and Bernie and really hustle, hustle this morning. Because of that, I'm feeling a little chaotic now, but I know it's gonna be worth getting to kind of turn off my brain a little when I'm home with my parents. Funny thing about sit down videos is a lot of the time when I'm not moving and I just sit it on my bed, I'll put on a cute top and then just like pajama shorts because no one can tell. Those are my plans, just tidying my filming space. And then I got to fix my hair and then we'll get to filming and then we'll get to packing. Ugh. Okay, I got this. Feeling so accomplished. I finished that and 
I just toasted cheddar onto these bagels. I'm gonna do a cheddar bagel avocado toast and get ready to hit the road by 12 to 12.30 is my goal. Oh, wow. Okay, mid pack, but I changed into comfier clothes. But I have a question for y'all. I need recommendations if anybody has one. I'm looking for a square neck version, dupe, if you will, of the Align Tank from Lululemon, because I've been living in those lately and they have a good amount of support. I like that they're cropped, but they're just too V for me. So I, I feel a little uncomfortable. I got this one as a tester and it's like a soft ribbed one from Aloe Yoga. And there is a little built-in kind of bra, which is what I'm looking for because the Align Tank has that also. But this one's just not quite as much support. So I'm looking for mid support, cropped square neck with a built-in little bra. Can we crowdsource this? <laughs> We're gonna go get to see May Doggy today. You're gonna get to run around in the backyard. Was that a good ear scratch? Ready? Right foot, step. Left foot, step. Not bad, not bad, come back. <laughs> How's that feel? A little twisty, huh? This is so twisted up. No matter how many times the YouTubers that I watch get their dogs a pup cup, it is content I will never get tired of. So I will contribute to this content category right now. You're so dainty with it though. He's the dainty. Well, I'm so glad we could get this little date in. Yay. Y'all gonna play? <laughs> okay. There's something about being home where I can feel a change in myself immediately. It's like my guards go down, my cortisol goes down, but something that always happens, I'm actually so curious if this happens to anyone else, is whenever I'm home, I think my guards go down too much and I always start to feel sick. Hoping that doesn't happen this time, but I think my body is a little bit like go, 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 survival, survival. When I'm, <laughs> look at this guy. <laughs> when I'm living on my own and then when I'm home I'm like oh there's family and parents and like I don't have to take care of me all the time I can like relax and then I end up getting sick <laughs> my only plans today are to cook dinner with mom and I'm looking forward to that something funny about May is her favorite activity is to splash the water right here we think she sees or hears something under the water but then she'll come up and she'll splash <laughs> ah! <laughs> I took a nap, which was actually a lovely idea. It's always it's always a gamble if you wake up feeling better or worse. But now, cooking with mom. <laughs> She's playing the menu. Well, we're gonna have an appetizer that I tried out in Colorado. Mm -hmm. So yummy. I brought back peaches from Colorado. We're you gonna get your peaches in Colorado. Yes, yeah, yeah, she yeah. did. <laughs> peaches mm -hmm. with fresh mozzarella. Mm -hmm. I um, Christini with balsamic glaze. I got a baguette. Yes. And then the entree, we're gonna do stuffed green bell peppers from the garden. I have green bell peppers. Which, guess what mom reminded me? Was it before I moved in? Was it the weird two weeks that I was living here before I moved to Austin? It might've been. So like, mm -hmm. yeah, pretty, pretty chaotic time in life. We mm -hmm. planted these and now we get to harvest. We're gonna harvest. Okay. And eat them. Yeah. What a kind of like metaphorical thing. I'd like we planted those seeds when I was like barely moving here and like now they have grown and flourished and we get to harvest and enjoy what we, we planted yes. in a chaotic cold winter. <laughs> so they were the inspiration for the menu, but also kind of funny and ironic because I grew up on them. What? I think, I think Oma made them like week, oh. weekly for dinner. Fun. But now I actually kind of crave them. Something weird about that. Well, that's really fun. So, should yeah. I go pick them? Yeah, let's do that. Okay. A Carolyn what? You were here Look too. Look at all these. You're responsible too. Th this is, this is massive. It's as tall as you. These are all banana peppers she was saying. Wait, what are, do yeah. banana peppers turn red? I don't know why they're different colors. I'm, I'm still new at this. Look at how many. But look I feel how. like this is not normal. <gasps> look at this little jewel. There's a little bell pepper. There's bigger ones, but. This is just basil. Wow. Like, I didn't, this is gonna go I didn't know appetizer. basil flowered like that. It does. Is that part edible? I'm sure it is, but you're actually supposed to trim it down so it'll keep growing and before it goes to flower. You're such like a homemaker. You grow your own food now. We need to get you some chickens. We need to get our own eggs. Yes, we should get chickens. Yes, we should. Oh, it smells great over here. 
So you think that this is a good a good culprit right here? Before I For sure. That's that's take it. the best one. Yeah. That's the best one. Uh huh. Okay. But we need several. Can't believe we grew this. I say we. I just literally just helped so you plant the flat. seeds. Mm -hmm. I gotta find a second. Yeah. That Let's one. Do this. This one's cute. I like that one. For comparison. Can I try one of these banana peppers? Yes. The red one I assume is good to go, right? Well, actually, I, I need to learn more. I think you can eat the green ones too, I don't know. I'm kind of curious what this red one tastes like. It almost yeah. looks like a serrano. Aren't serrano peppers red? Look at that. Mom just told me, try this. They only had chocolate mint at the store and I did not know mint leaves could come in the chocolate varietal. And it smells like chocolate. It really so does try it. smell like chocolate, it's crazy. Oh my gosh. Okay. This would be so good on like a chocolate torte. Ice cream. Oh, yes. like a Like a molten lava cake. Mm, mm. Is. Mm. How fun. It's so good. I have no idea if this is gonna be spicy or not, but I'm just gonna go in and do a taste test for y'all. Oh, that was a big bite. Oh my gosh. Mom. Yeah. It's literally a banana pepper, but red. Like a sweet banana pepper? This would be really good pickled. A pickled pick of pepper that we picked from your p p pots. Okay, on to cooking. Okay, I'm going to be assembling the uh, appetizer while mom is de-seeding her peppers, but I just toasted this little gluten-free baguette, and all we're gonna do is put a slice of mozzarella on each one. I'll do a few with y'all. A peach or two? Maybe a couple. What do you say? Mm -hmm. This was reduced balsamic glaze. We'll see if we can get any of it out of the pan. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, now there's a little, there's a little. A little drizzle. And some fresh basil that mother grew. Let's, let's do a little taste test to see if this works or if we need to do anything differently. Mmm, that's good. I feel like you could use some salt. Oh yeah, actually. Like flaky sea oh. salt that and actually a little bit of drizzle olive oil mm. yeah also i think it'd be really good if you grilled the peaches but oh yeah thanks for showing us the recipe mom you're welcome <laughs> Told mom lots of taste tests in this vlog, but we're gonna try the homegrown stuffed pepper, stuffed with rice and beef and tomatoes, topped with mozzarella. Any other main things in there? No, that's pretty much that's it. Pretty much it. Ooh, she's steamy. Gonna get a bite with a little bit of everything, some stuffing, some cheese. Yeah. Ooh, Ooh hot. It's good. Mm. It's really good. Blown that you grew these. Blown away. <laughs> I think mom and I are gonna watch some HGTV while I get some computer work done. So I'm probably gonna end this vlog here. I have tomorrow off of filming, but then Thursday, I am starting another vlog where I'll have Thursday and Bernie and then Friday and part of Saturday in Austin. So I'll see y'all then, but I wanted to say a thanks again to Agency for partnering with me on this video. I'll have that link in the description first thing so that it's easy to find, but you can try your first month for free. Just pay $4.95 shipping and handling. I think it's a really good opportunity to test it out, see what you think. I love you. Thanks for coming along the last couple days with me. I hope you have the best rest of your day and I will see you in another video very soon. Bye. So give me a sign. Give me a sign, oh, give me a sign, baby, give me a sign, just give me one more, talking to you, here we go again, staying up all night to see if you've been texting me, where do we go from here?